Today, we try our hand at some leather burning. Stay tuned. All right, so I do a lot of leather crafting on this channel. Now, normally, if we want to decorate it with some kind of design, we end up having to carve it with either like a swivel knife or every once in a while, I'll use a Dremel to get the image I want onto my leather. But then in my wandering on the interwebs, I saw somebody use a wood burner to put the design into the leather. And I was like, I must try this thing. So that's, that's this episode. This is me trying that thing. Now the design I'm gonna be using today is this badass steampunk butterfly. This is from the kit of steampunk designs that Senpai Fish made over on the website. She releases like two design packs every month, so definitely go check that out. Now aside from just the leather burning itself, there are two other kind of cool tips that I got to play with during this episode. The first of which is how we actually get our design onto the leather. This is super easy and I love it. All we have to do is color the back of our image with some pencil. Though the softer pencils like the B6 range or whatever work better, you can, you can do this with any kind of pencil. The key is to make sure you cover the entire back of the image. Now for my leather, I'm using this scrap piece of eight ounce veg tan that I had lying around. After it's been cut to size, all I do is place my image where I want it on the leather and then trace those lines with a stylus or a pencil. You really don't have to push down hard on this at all. Just nice even pressure along all of those lines. This transfers the graphite onto the surface, leaving a perfect copy of the image. This one makes me run the gambit of being really impressed at how easy it is and feeling really dumb that I hadn't thought of it before. All right, moving on to actually get to the burning of this, I end up using this cheap wood burner that I've had for years. I think I picked it up at like Michael's for 20 something dollars. It's not a really top of the line one at all, but it doesn't matter because it worked great. That being said, there's definitely a trick to doing this. I found that if you delay it all, it ends up leaving these little dots where you've burned too much. The key is to draw your line in one smooth motion, making first contact and releasing without pausing at all. Okay, so after practicing, it was time to move on to the real thing. And this actually turned out to be really simple. At first, I was a little intimidated thinking I'd ruin it. But again, I found as long as I tried to move smoothly and I didn't linger in one area for too long, everything came out really clean. Also, there was no need to push down on this. The heat from the burner is more than enough to get the job done. If you feel like you find yourself needing to push in to get the burn on, um, it's probably because your tip has started to cool. This happens because that heat is getting transferred into the leather, right? So just remove it from the leather to let it heat up again for a second and then start drawing again. I did find you could use that cooling to good effect though to get the shading going on. Starting off really dark and then transitioning lighter. And check that out! That came out really good! That, I got it hanging on the wall right there. That came out really good. And for my first time doing it in such kind of an intricate, badass design, I was really excited with how that came out. Now for my next interesting tip on this one, it's actually one from one of you that you left in the comment section below. And that is using just regular beeswax to give my leather a nice aged look. All you have to do is apply the wax to the surface of the leather and then burnish it with a rag in the areas you want to look darker. The friction causes that color to become deeper in those areas and gives it a really cool antique aged look. And there you have it. You can now sear symbols, forge filigrees, and blazon emblems into your leather. I hope you liked this skill. If you did, why don't you give me some of that thumbs up love below and don't forget to subscribe so you know when I release new content. In the meantime though, keep leveling up you.